what it looks like <laughs> except me <laughs> because I'm right here this could be considered the loneliest planet here I am all alone on Pluto the last planet in the solar system nothing but empty space all the way to the next star Why, Arnold, you look all shook up. I am all This is the Pluto Loop science experiment. An object has to go at just the right speed and angle to stay in orbit. See if you can send the bus into a perfect circular orbit. Click on the ramp to choose the angle and on the flame to choose the speed. Then click on the bus to send it into orbit. Hasta la vista.
Pluto by Arnold. Pluto at a glance. <coughs> Why don't the other planets like Pluto? Cause it's always acting so cool. Scientists don't even know for sure what Pluto looks like, but they know Pluto and its moon Charon are about the same size. Scientists don't even know for sure Pluto is usually the ninth planet from the sun, but sometimes it's the eighth when its orbit crosses Neptune's orbit. Pluto is usually the ninth. Pluto is so far away that the sun would look like a star from there. Why I want to go to Pluto. On Pluto, I'd be light as a bird, and a bird would be light as a feather. That's because Pluto is so small and light, it doesn't have much gravity. Pluto is at the outside edge of our solar system, the last planet before the stars. Pluto and its moon Charon are geosynchronous. That means Charon orbits at the same speed that Pluto spins. I'd like to be the first person to go to Pluto. It's the only planet that no spacecraft from Earth has ever visited. Pluto is at the outside edge of our solar system, the last planet before the stars. Pluto is... Cool facts about Pluto. The Solar System by Ms. Frizzle. The Solar System at a Glance. The Solar System at a Glance. Meteoroids are probably small pieces of asteroids. The asteroid belt is an area between the inner and outer planets where thousands of asteroids circle the sun. Though it seems like it would be hard to fly through it without running into one. It's actually quite easy, since the asteroids are usually hundreds of thousands of miles apart. The sun is at the center of the solar system and gives the planets light and heat. Asteroids are chunks of rock, metal, and ice. They can be smaller than a grain of sand or many miles across. Comets are balls of ice, gas, and dust, like dirty snowballs streaking through space. Exploring the solar system. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. No clouds or no rain, either. Without the sun, Earth would be extremely dark. Without the solar system is our planetary neighborhood and is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The solar system is the sun and everything that orbits around it, including our nine planets, their moons, the asteroids, and comets. Gravity keeps the planets in their orbits around the sun. Cool facts about the sun. <coughs> what do you drink out of on the sun? Well, sunglasses! <laughs> you take them off your forehead. An orbit is the path of a planet or other object around the sun. The sun is just one of trillions and trillions of other stars in the universe. And it's not even the biggest. It only looks big from Earth because it's so close. Sunspots are actually giant magnetic storms that erupt on the sun's surface and are darker and cooler than the rest of the sun. Solar flares are magnetic storms, too.
At the center of the sun, the temperature is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is so huge, it heats planets that are millions of miles away.